until you come to the witness, the one who is aware of these emotions, these compulsions, this event, this phenomena that is happening to your body, there is a witness here. Someone sitting back here is aware of it. If you identify with the witness, then what is happening is only happening to the body and to the mind and to the emotions, but you are neither the body nor the mind or the emotions. You are the witness of it. So if you take your seat and go sit on the crown, the queen that you are, and go there and simply observe the reaction of the mind, the emotion, and the body, and simply observing it, you're not trying to correct anything. You're simply aware of it. Then there is a disconnection starts to take place. There's a separation between the observer and what the money, the mind, body, and psy the psyche emotions doing. There's a separation starts to take place. And that separation starts, the gap starts to deepen because the awareness is here. Something is very much aware of a phenomena is called trauma. And what happens is through meditation, through being silent, through not getting engaged with that story, I'm not talking about denial. I'm not talking about positive thinking. I'm not talking about positive visualization. Okay, let me explain this again. One more time I want to say it so it goes in. I'm not promoting therapy. I'm not promoting positive thinking. Positive, I'm not promoting positive visualization. I'm not talking about using the power of your mind to manifest something. I'm clearly telling you all of that is bullshit. Please don't come to me and tell me I said do positive thinking. I'm telling you it's bullshit. It does not work. It simply activates your mind and keeps you in the realm of thoughts. We want to separate ourselves from the world of thoughts and emotions. We want to be wit the witness of it, that you are the witness of it. We want to remember the truth of who we are. The truth of who we are is that you're the Atman. The Atman is here. The Buddha is here, sitting on his chair of a king, and simply is aware of these activities that the mind, the emotion, and the body does, but it's not identified with it. This is not denial. This is awareness. Simply being aware of a story that happened when you were a child, but that story has no effect on your awareness. The rest is a mind game, healing the child within, working on the child within. Nothing needs to be worked on. That's going to keep you engaged in the third dimensional world of thoughts. There is nothing to heal. You simply need to become aware of the fact that you're the witness of everything. You are not those things. Those things never happen to you. It happened to the part of you that you're imagining it's real, but you're not that thing. You're identifying with the wrong 
part. You think you are a human being, irrelevant, powerless, needy, lonely, and you go through these things. You don't know that you're the witness of the whole thing. You're simply aware of the phenomena, but you're not that phenomena. Switch your place and immediately the entire story disappears and it requires a zero work. And that's my work. That's what I teach. Dive back into silence. Be quiet. If your mind is not activated, then there is no childhood issues to work on. They don't appear. And when they appear, they become irrelevant. They're far, far away from you. But if you get involved with it, then it becomes your reality and it will keep haunting you. I know you're new to my teachings, uh, Jesse. Just be patient. Hang in there. I think I that was a great, a great answer. Um, I think it's kind of what I've been practicing somewhat too. Just, uh, I know we talked about inner child, so I understand what you're saying too. But I, I felt like I was just trying to bring awareness to those wounded feelings. But I, I hear what you said that I'm identifying with. Yes, that. exactly. The more you you remain in your true seat and claim the crown of your kingdom and be the queen that you are, the more distant you find yourself from these things. The stories are happening. They've been happening. They're still happening. They will be happening but you're simply not involved with any of it. You are simply an observer. An even observer of yourself, observer of your past, observer of your present. You're simply observing it. But none of it is happening to you because if it was happening to you, you would have lost your power of observation. You would have lost the power of knowing. You could have not been the witness. But has any of these things had ever any impact on your ability to know? Nope. Yeah. Your ability to know remains the ability to know, the ability of to be aware, no matter how bad I'm getting tortured. When I was getting tortured in the prison, I still had the ability to know. And when I was being loved by a beloved lover, I still had the ability to know. And when I go through life ups and downs and I lose someone I love and there's pain and sorrow and grief, my ability to know remains the ability to know. <laughs>